Good morning, this is Valor from TrafalgarValentine.com How's it going today? Today I'll be doing the car drawing Today I'm going to be doing a Ford Focus RS500 So let's get on with it Okay, so I'm just doing a basic line at the bottom just for the ground This car is going to be a slight angle shown from the side Got some wheel shapes here like So I've just noticed that this wheel is a a little far from the actual picture, so I'm just going to rub this out. Excuse me. Uh, do a second one. Slightly smaller there. Okay. Start with the body work. This is shown from the, the rear of the car. So, this is going to be the back part here. Start off by doing the wheel arches around. Okay, for the body. So the rear bumper here. Can you see that alright? I wonder. Okay. For the back windscreen. It's got a spoiler coming up. It has its tail lights on top of the boot part here. Then for the bumper at the bottom, curls up, comes back down. I want to curl this body, the roof around. Get a nice smooth shape going down. This is a three door hatchback, so it's not that big of a car. Do the passenger side windows. It's just a rough sketch and pencil that I'm going to pen later on. Like so with the wing mirror. Then for the boot panel, I'll have a license plate there. Some more details on the bumper. Here's where the exhaust will be. Some more tail lights there. Here's the fuel cap. And then the door handle, which will go there. Rims of the tyres. Okay, it's good for the rough shape, so I'm just going to go into pen just so you can see this a bit better. Got lots of various Copic markers, which are different shades of blue. I'll be using a variety of these to actually create the picture, and you'll see them. I'm not sure what brand these are, but they're like Copic alcohol markers. Looks better. Okay, so following this shape round. The spoiler at the top. So Fill the bumper round. Now for the bumper shape. This pen's not working very well. I haven't used pens in a while, so I'm just going to use a different pen. Passenger windows, small wing mirror there, curl the front round, got the side skirt at the bottom, wheel arch at the top, like so.
Uh, okay, now following the bumper shape, run down. Curls around. Okay, it's good for the rough shape and stuff. Let's go into some more blue here. So I'm using the dark blue pen just to go over some of the lower sections of the car, mainly the bumper and the side skirts and stuff. Yeah, it's looking nice. Okay, now for the wheels. There's quite large rims on them. I'm just doing this freehand, so you can use a ruler if you want to, just so it's easier. I'm just going in freehand. This front wheel is slightly curled outwards. So you won't see the front bumper because of it. Just do this edge of the tire. Like where it's here. And the second tire at the back will come round beyond it. Keep following this mark at the back just because it's the darkest part. Okay, it's looking nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should start maybe doing some of the windows. Curl it down. Yeah, it's looking nice.
Okay, so I want to break up some of these blues that I've got going, just because it's quite a thick, blocky shape that I've got now. But I want to break that up just with some with the blue biro that I have. And by doing that, I'm doing like a feathering technique, which I've said before. It's just me basically sticking to one point, then just feathering it to one side. So you just tap where you want to go, then just flick across. The idea is just build a consistent pattern going across. So, just smoothing out some of these lines. Okay, that's looking nice. So I'm just doing the top window here, just going along the feathering technique still. The outline of the car is pretty much the easiest part of it. The most difficult part, I think, is just getting the reflections in right and stuff. The variety of different shades where this light hits and stuff. Making sure that you contouring around the box the shape of the body as well Okay, for the middle section I might use just a blue pencil. I might actually rub out some of these pencil lines that I have on here, just so I've got a... Just because they're not needed anymore and they're kind of in the way. Just to clean up the picture a bit. Okay.
Okay, now I've got a small fine line. I'm just going to some more details with this. Just around some of the more shapes and stuff. Fuel cap here. And some of these bold lines I've done with the pelt, uh, felt tip pens and stuff. I'm just going around the edges with this. Just to smooth out those thick edges that I've created. So you can see here where it's quite chunky, so I'm just going to thin that out. Do some small shading down here. Okay, now for the rims, for the centre section, I'm just going to do a small circle. Just zoom in a bit so you can see. So I'm doing a small circle there. Then lightly sketching with the biro. You can do some pencil just so it's a bit easier for yourself so you can get a bit more practice and stuff. Just sketching in the rough spoke shapes. And just to make sure that I'm doing equal, I'm doing both opposite sides one after the other so one here one here and kind of keep this pattern up so if i do one there one will go here so it looks like the petals of a flower these spokes one there And one there. How many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. Let's do eleven. Twelve. We have 12 there, 3, 6, 9, 12, I, I don't know, it Look, looks good anyway. Okay, so I want a nice dark line there. Again, just using the by row. And I'll just keep this dark line going across all of the spokes. Okay, now I've got a dark line around all the spokes. That feathering technique I talk, told you about before, from the actual dark line, I'm just roughly feathering lines into the centre. Remember, just to move your hand to help pivot it. It gets quite difficult without moving the paper, so move the paper if you need to. Make sure you don't miss out any spokes. You want these spokes to be kind of one object, so you want to keep them all the same. And now that I've done the centre bit with the feathering, as you can see it's a slightly bit lighter in the centre. Again, I'm going to do the same technique on the outside. So just feathering again. Try to keep the lines within inside the actual spokes. Have a different separate colour just for the outside. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, now that I've got the general tone going, I'm just going to use a pencil just to smooth out some of those lines. Then what I'll do with the pencils, I'll just go around the edge with the pencil, pressing not too hard. And it's good with the pencil, you can always erase this if you want to. Okay. That's the main surface done. We just smooth out some of these lines. Just go over it, teasing it here and there, just where you need to. Might add a small black line at the bottom here. Just create a bit of general shading at the bottom. Okay. Now I want to do the inside of the spokes. Because this car is facing from the back, so you'll see the inside part of this wheel. So for the inside part of these spokes, I do one there, one here. Because you'll see this part of the wheel more, this the inside part of the spokes will be a bit larger. And because you'll see this part of the spokes less, so this will be a bit thinner. It's all about perception. This spoke here, because it's facing parallel, you won't actually see the inside of it. I'm just doing the inside of the wheel. Like so. I lightly shade this in with a pencil. What I'm going to do is just shade the rest of the car wheel in. Then I use a, I'm going to use a black fine liner just for the inside. I use a blue pencil actually, blue pen. Okay, now I just now I know that I've done that on pencil, I'm just going to create some small hides just by erasing some of the pencil lines that I've done. So maybe just around at the top, there, a little bit in the centre. Then we'll go from a white uh, liner, gel pen. Just do a few dots and dashes just to emphasise some sort of sunlight reflecting on it. Sometimes these gel pens, when they're dry, the blackness is still showing, so I just have to go over it two or three times, but just about consistency and teasing it back where you need to and stuff. Okay, like so. How is this car looking now? Yeah, it's looking good. I need to do this real light here, so I'm just going to go into small fine pens, just so I can get the details down.
so. Just going to work on a few more details around the wheel arch. Giving these small light highlights a little bit of darkness. Okay, it's looking nice. You could do this all in pencil crayon if you want. I've just got a variety of pens I can use, so it just depends what you like working with. It's not about what materials you essentially use, it's just how you actually use them. I know sometimes when you see a picture that you really love to do, then you see what materials they use and you think, oh, I'll buy those materials because it helped me create that picture that they've done. I mean, it might help, like, get the effect that they've done maybe if it's like pastels or something like that or but generally you can create the same picture with virtually any material so it's just about how you actually use the material not quite the materials that you use and you find what you best work with I mean I tried out just to help me with contours and shapes and stuff I tried using paints for a long while as well see how the theory of paint color works and how to actually create colors and stuff and that really helped me just to understand just general paint theory or colour theory. What I recommend as well is just like use lots of different reference photos as well. And you'll see enough reference photos eventually that you'll get a general idea of what you need to actually do for the cars. So then you don't need to use any reference photos and stuff. I'm not using. I'm using a reference photo for the outline of this car, but not actually for the colours. Colours I'm just kind of making up as I go along, but I think it's producing quite a good effect. So I'm kind of, I'm happy with it. You just got to remember these are smooth metal objects and how to actually. How how would how do you put it? How would the environment around it reflect onto the actual object? So you could have maybe some trees in the background. So maybe let's do a tree just on this object here coming up. Just branches off. Like so. Now it looks a little weird, but I'm just gonna work in a few lines. Here and there. Sorry, the paper's moving around. I haven't taped it down just so I can pivot my hand. So sorry if it goes off screen. It's hard to talk and draw and then look at the camera at the same time. I mean, I know a lot of people stick their picture down to the actual board and stuff, but I'm drawing on a notepad at the moment, so it's hard to tape down.
Okay guys, I think that's all finished for the Ford Focus. So you can see I just added a few more details here and there, doing the feathering technique underneath the car. Gone over a few lines here and there, just to tease it and stuff the way I wanted it. This has been Trafalgar Valentine, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, I'll be back on another one quite shortly.